Brought to you by Mr. Pro's TV, streaming from Tempe, Arizona. And we're live in five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, Jordan Nelson here, host of Real Estate Pros on Lister Pros TV. And today we're here at Guild Mortgage in Tucson, Arizona with a very special guest, Colin, with Townsend. Uh, Townsend Kane. Townsend Kane, there you yes. go. And uh, so uh, for those that don't know uh, who you are, we'll give you a couple minutes to introduce yourself. Sure. Uh, tell us, uh, you know, your background, what got you interested in investing in, in real estate. Absolutely. Townsend Kane is a, a locally owned real estate investment firm. And we have been in business for about nine years. And we buy primarily distressed single family residences. And so uh, we're not licensed, but we, we like to think of ourselves as problem solvers when it comes to complex real estate transactions. Gotcha. And so I was born and raised in Tucson, uh, went away to college, went to Baylor University and came back and- um, Texas. Nice. Waco, Texas, <laughs> yeah. And um, married my college sweetheart. We have four kids. And so we've been investing, my brother and I, in real estate for the last 15 years and, and probably bought over a thousand houses in Tucson. Oh, wow. So do you guys uh, special? I mean, there's a lot of different strategies when it comes to investing in real estate. A lot of people will buy, fix, and flip, buy and hold, rent them out, buy and sell the firms. What do you guys, do you guys do all of the above or you guys focus on a specific? We buy primarily thing? for ourselves. And so uh, we, we do have, you know, maybe a hundred uh, rental properties in, in the portfolio that we've um, accumulated over the years. And we have commercial projects as well. Uh, we have a you know, uh, a fraternity as a tenant on campus, you know, is one of our projects. Um, so really anything with, with uh, that we can add value and, and kind of create upside, I think we're going to be interested in. Um, agents bring us deals and they like the fact that we can close quickly. We take it the way it is. We can walk in and have an inspection done in you know, 10 minutes just walking through and be able to perform. Uh, and and, and that, that means a lot. So what is a good property... <laughs> Uh, for you guys to acquire here in, here in Tucson, is there specific criteria you guys are always looking for when it comes to uh, well, purchasing cer homes? Well, certainly value-oriented. Um, when it comes to, to value, I mean, we, we do buy a large volume, so it's not like we have to pay pennies on the dollar. Uh, we'll pay a fair price. We always say if somebody took that same house, that homeowner, and remodeled it and put it on the, on, on the market themselves and hired an agent, they, they may make you know, 10%, 15% more than us. It's just not, not a big difference. And so people have to evaluate and say, is it worth my time to spend six months, you know, gutting the house, redoing the project, you know, for another 10 or 15%. And, and, and most of the time people say, no, it's not. It's not worth their time to do that. Um, in Arizona, you know, Pima County specifically, there are six or 700 families in pre-foreclosure situation at any given moment. And people like yourselves or myself, I mean, it, it might be somebody who is hardworking, falls on hard times, you know, could be the product of a divorce or a death. Um, oftentimes it's, it's uh, some bad choices involved in there. And so whether we're talking to a doctor in the foothills or, you know, a teacher in Midtown, people just don't know what to do. They're, 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 they're not experienced with exactly how to navigate that, that you know, that path. And uh, we often meet people that are adult children living in mom and dad's house. Um, they've died, and so they fall behind on the mortgage. They try, try and call the lender, mm -hmm. call Wells Fargo and say, hey, we're trying to get caught up, and Wells Fargo is not permitted to talk to them because their name's not on the loan, even uh -huh. though the parent has, has, has passed away. So <clears throat> a lot of the value we add to the equation is going, how do we capture some equity for, for these you know, families that are losing everything? And, and we, uh, we have the staff and the expertise to kind of navigate through probate and ensure that we can, you know, get to the finish line. Gotcha. So instead of it going into foreclosure, the bank taking it back, you guys can step in and kind of help facilitate the transaction and then uh, get some equity out That's for, right. for the heirs. And, and that would almost always happen. Uh, we, we catch people at, at their wits end and, and it may be two weeks away from foreclosure you know, and we'll come to the house and they'll be drinking a beer, watching TV. Just, they don't know what to do. Uh. <clears throat> and so 
obviously time is not on your side. So we're small and nimble and we can kind of you know, work with people. We, we, you know, our, our, our values try and shine through what we do. Oftentimes we'll buy a home and it may be an elderly person or disadvantaged. And part of the value we, we provide is, is helping them relocate, find a new place, physically moving them and giving them more time in the house, which I think is of, of great value when you feel like the world is collapsing around you. Sure. Yeah. So if agents are, are, are watching this, um, you know, what are some of those those signs? Because you mentioned that you guys get referrals from agents. Absolutely. Um, how, you know, do they look for, oh, is the seller in distress? Or, you know, what are some of the things that are indications that, you know, it may be a good idea to reach out to uh, sure. Townsend King? So Townsend Kane um, is happy to work with all agents, and, and oftentimes distress can be financial, it can be emotional, it, it, you know, it can, yeah, be a, yeah, it, it can kind of be a myriad of things. And so um, just having a steady buyer who understands real estate transactions, um, we're not a licensed agent, so if somebody brings us a deal, we're happy to pay them 6% on that deal if it's their oh, listing. Wow. And uh, I think just the ease of working with us, I think, has... It has helped us build relationships with, with agents over time. So it might be, hey, we've got to close in a matter of weeks, or you know, the seller's husband is in jail, and we, you know, or there's a death involved, and anything complex you know, is like a puzzle for us. It's like a, a, a math problem. We like to solve it yeah, and yeah. kind of put our expertise to use there. Okay, so you guys have a lot of experience navigating through kind of complex transactions. We really do. I mean, when you think of a thousand single family transactions in Tucson of purchases, plus, you know, the, the disposition, we've come across everything you can imagine, you know, bizarre things. And so I, I would say most of the people we talk to, Jordan, we're not even going to buy their house. And so we go with the mindset that we want to make our, you know, we want to make our presence of value. And maybe there's something we say or do that, that, that might spur some thought. Oftentimes people are in foreclosure. They're First thought is not to sell the house. This might be the home they've grown up in. Right. It might be the, the house that mom and dad built. And so it's a very natural, emotional thing to want to hang on to that property. And so we kind of help them make a, an unemotional decision and just say, do you have the gunpowder? You know, do you have a, a job and an income and the ability to, to kind of keep and stay and fight for the house? And if you do, then there's a lot of resources out there for you. And if it's not, the worst case scenario is, is that knock on the door saying your house was sold today. Right. And that's what we try and avoid. If somebody can find another avenue, if we can give them more time, give them money to move and even help them find a new place, I think it's a win-win. Sure. And when you guys are looking for properties, obviously you guys buy here in Tucson alone. Um, we do primarily. I mean, I think real estate, you know, the minute you begin to um, expand and, and, and not have a, a pulse on the market uh, and touch touch the houses, I think you begin to make poor choices. So every house we buy, we're going to touch and sit down with people. Yeah, and so is it mostly <clears> here <throat> in the uh, city of Tucson or do you do Sierra Vista? And, you know, and, it might be Sierra surround, Vista or Benson. Cities. Yeah. I mean, we've done some work in Phoenix too. Um, it might be a, a luxury house in the foothills or a south side house that has really... Um, inappropriate and, and poor add-ons, you know, and on the south side of town, it really doesn't matter. It's all value-oriented. Is there is there an opportunity for us to add to the equation to make the the seller put them in a better position, and also an economic driver for us to be able to either keep it as a rental or turn it? And, and most of our turns are, are 30 to 45 days. Wow, top to bottom, and uh, we have a licensed contract to go through and ensure that it, it meets all the codes. So we really want to put our name behind that. House. Awesome. Yeah. So if somebody is interested in maybe sending you, they have a situation right now, or letting Towns and Kane uh, take a look at the uh, the transaction, how do people reach out and get a hold of you guys? Best thing to do is call 88 Buyer. I think that's a, a great great way to call, and you probably reach me directly or Towns and Kane T O W N S E N D K A N E dot com, and uh, we have some testimonials, some before and after photos, and a little kind of bios of what we do and and, uh, and why we're here. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on Real Estate Pros, and we will see you guys on the next episode. Take care.